Welcome back, his army, to another episode of We Are One. You wanted the best and you got the best. The hottest channel in the land. We are one. Here I am and here you are. Welcome to the show and welcome to Psycho Circus Kiss Army as we dive into the void of history. Here at We Are One, history will be preserved with interviews both old and new and the breaking news you need. Now, let's go shout it out loud. Tommy Thayer, current KISS lead guitarist and has been with the band since 2003, officially making appearances when Ace was unable or did not make a KISS show on the Farewell Tour. Tommy Thayer said he did not receive credits for his contributions to the Psycho Circus album released in 1998, marketed as the return of the original four for the first time back in the studio together. This is following off of the successful reunion tour. Kiss then decided to go back into the studio for another studio album and then to embark on tour. The album marked the return of the original lineup with Ace Freely on guitar and Peter Chris on drums and was marketed as such. However, Tommy Thayer and Kevin Valentine replaced the two respectively in their studio roles. Tommy Thayer has noted in the past that one of his favorite Kiss songs is Psycho Circus, which is the title of the album and one of the songs Tommy plays on. Psycho Circus is now over 20 years old and it has become almost a classic because it meets the standards of Kiss, Tommy said, which is included as part of the set list on the Kiss End of the Road tour and has been a pretty stable song since its release back in 1998. Later, when talking about the obscure Kiss songs, Tommy said, I pledge allegiance to the state of rock and roll, part of Psycho Circus, and Tommy explained when he played on that record but was not credited on the album. A very obscure song it is, and it's not that old, but it is on the Psycho Circus album. It's I pledge allegiance to the state. In fact, I recorded that album, but I was not credited because it was a, uh, Tommy paused for a moment and then said, a transition period with a chuckle. I've played on all of that stuff, and I'm on I Pledge Allegiance to the State. I think it's a cool song, very energetic, up-tempo, very lively, Tommy added. The decision to keep Ace and Peter out of Psycho Circus, in terms of studio aspect, came from the producer, Bruce. As sound engineer Mike reports in the book, Kiss Behind the Mask, quote, Although Gene and Paul wanted to perform as the original band on the record, when Bruce heard Ace and Peter playing in pre-production, he thought about making the kind of record he wanted to make and Ace and Peter did not fit it as instrumentalists. However, this contradicts what Tommy and Ace and Peter have all said in the past. Ace saying that he was not even asked to come into the studio other than playing on the song he wrote, Into the Void, which is the only song Peter plays on besides his vocal appearance on I Finally Found My Way. Peter also says that he was not respected and was not asked to play on the album. Tommy in the past has also said that he plays on almost all of the album with Ace playing on maybe one other song other than Into the Void. And he believes that to be You Wanted the Best. So whether or not Tommy can remember and Ace can remember, neither of them can remember exactly what songs that they played on. However, Tommy and Ace, Ace specifically, has mentioned in recent interviews that Paul said that the band would be unnoticeable if Ace and Peter weren't playing on the album. And Ace has proven in recent interviews, he said this was simply not the case and fans knew it. And this also shows if you go watch Peter try and play Psycho Circus on that tour, he's really focusing a lot more than he would on any other song. Let me know what you guys think about this. Talk to me in the comment section down below on why Tommy explaining he wasn't credited on Psycho Circus. Remember, Kiss Army, God bless you, and God gave rock and roll to you. God bless you all.